breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. DSS arrests Maiti Allah's president over establishment of nomadic vigilante group. Yes, it's happening. I know you're wondering, Madam, uh -uh, it don't read so. Yes, it don't read so. They don't start um, They talk um, before we uh, Buhari Day, but Nigerians kicked against it. They were trying to, you know, get it. They were back and forth. But guess what? As we speak right now, it's no longer the same thing. They they are daring the, the, every other person and they are going forward with it. They proposed it initially that this was what they were going to do and they are doing it. Sweetheart, um, they started and DSS picked them up. But this is not the solution. The army, the soldiers, strategy, investigation is not the solution. Stay tuned with us. At the end of the video, I will reveal to you what the solution of Nigeria is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. DSS arrests Maiti Allah's president over establishment of nomadic vigilante group. The Department of State Security Services has apprehended the president of the Maiti Allah Kota Horde, Bello Badajo, after the group established an unregistered vigilante group in Nasarawa State. His arrest took place on Tuesday, January the 23rd at the Maitiala head office in Nasarawa State with a joint team of DSS operatives and the Nigerian army making the move in the light, late hours of the afternoon. The reliable DSS source has said the arrest was prompted by concerns that the recently formed Maitic Nomadic Vigilante Group could potentially incite violence nationwide. Speaking further, the source stated that the vigilante group in question has not undergone any formal registration process with the DSS police or any security agencies in the country. Our DSS operatives, in collaboration with soldiers from the Nigerian Army, conducted a raid at the Maitiala head office in Nasarawa this afternoon leading to the arrest of the national president, Bello. This action was taken due to his involvement in creating a vigilante group that lacks recognition from the government, the source revealed, highlighting the potential threat posed by the unregistered nomadic vigilante group. The source stressed it that it existed outside the Proviews government security agencies raised alarm regarding its impact on national security. The creation of that nomadic vigilante group could cause violence in the country. The group was not registered with the DSS, the police, or any security agent. The group is not recognized by the federal government. The source has cautioned. We must caution with and take this very seriously before it spirals out of hand. This is not the way to go. If there is going to be a vigilante group, there are procedures and way to go about it. What this group has done is unprecedented and we cannot believe that they are taking laws into their hands. We have to intervene immediately to prevent this from escalating and bringing uprising in the nation. Sweetheart, this is what is happening right about now. So, like I was earlier reiterating, at um, Buhari's administration, they had a plan. They voiced it. They made ma known mention of it, but it did not really come to fusion. Buhari, eight years has come and gone. Insecurity has worsened. And guess what? They've taken it further. And now they are bold enough to establish the vigilante group. Now there are implications. If there are no guidelines, if they are not subjected to anyone or anybody, this could lead to an uprising as it could lead to punishment of those, in quote and unquote, you view as your enemy. Don't forget that Nigeria, religious bigotry is another area. Right now, as we speak, in player two states, it is not, it is not easy as we speak around about now. In player two states, residential homes, churches has been burnt. That's <clears throat> in Plato State. So to have a particular set who are, you know, of a particular religion 
and there is no clear-cut definition of what this group stands for. It may start, it, I said may, and I say that word cautiously, with good intention. Oh, let's fight and protect our place if that is the intention. But guess what? It could escalate. What do I mean by that? Before you know it, people might be victimized and it might go out of hand, out of contest. At the end of the day, it does more harm than good. So the DSS and the police have gone and have arrested the very president of the Maiti Allah who is championing this cause. Whatever is happening in Nigeria today, that people come to us, give wonderful speeches, explain what they will do if given the opportunity to serve. Now you give them the opportunity to serve or by hook or by crook, they get there using the judiciary or whatever system to get into that position. And by the time they get there, you are wondering if it is the same people. It is because this thing is not ordinary. Listen to me. I tell you, I was told you I was going to reveal to you the problem of Nigeria. It's not ordinary. There is more to it than beneath the eyes. It's not just what you see. There are things that needs to be dismantled. There are, there are realities we need to come into. There are truths we need to tell ourselves and we need to go back to the drawing board. First of all, all Nigerian religious leaders need to, first of all, you know, look at this carefully and begin to apply, you know, divine, divine in quote, meaning not just physically, you know, uh, driven, divine motivation, positioning in order to know what to do and how to approach. What you see today is a reality of what has been going on for some time. Not checked, not given prominence, not given attention, swept under the carpet, has led it to begin to expansiate, go on, on and on, and this has now led to what it is today. So every single individual is worth wondering what next. Okay? Please don't forget to give us, in, give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Tell us what you think. Bye-bye. Bye for now.